Bringing your VTuber character to life can cost lots of money, but in this video, I'm gonna teach you the free way to do it in the way that I do it personally. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ari, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to use V Magic Mirror and a little bit of VC Face. I'm not really the biggest fan of VC Face, but I'm still gonna teach you guys anyway. But first, a word from our sponsor at HelloFresh. Y'all, we only have four more days until we have to complete our goal of 50, and so far we only have three. I thought I could count on you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all don't have to buy, but it would be greatly appreciated. I really, really, really wanted to hit 50, and I don't know, it's gonna take a miracle. Just make sure that you use the link in the description box below or the code in the description box below to get your 16 free meals across six boxes that is a huge discount this is only for first time users so make sure that you if you've ever wanted to try it and you never have you try it out now use my code right now please love you please please all right let's get into it all right so a lot of you guys wanted to know how do you make your avatar move you see how i'm moving my hand or how i'm moving my head this does require a um camera so some type of web, web camera any type of external camera whatever fits for you so let me just transfer over so what you're gonna do is come to v magic mirror this is a japanese based i believe <laughs> software to track your face and your hand movements and everything unfortunately hand movements are not free i think i mentioned that in another video but it is totally fine or i think i mentioned it on my stream last week i don't know but right here is in japanese don't worry it does come in english all you're gonna have to do is press free standard version if you wanted to get the full edition i think it's gonna be about twenty dollars on booth.pm so just make sure if you do want full body tracking hand tracking finger tracking and all that good stuff you can pay twenty dollars for it which is worth it um but the free option is perfectly fine as well you can also download vc face and we will get into this as well this is just another option i'm not really the biggest fan of it but i'll show you guys about it anyway so what you're gonna do is open up your v magic mirror i already have mine open because clearly i'm recording right now and here we are so i'm gonna ignore this part right here so this is what it's going to look like right here when you first open it it's gonna look just like this it should be in english or if it's not in english you can just come right here to language and change it to japanese or chinese if that's the language that you know if you remember from yesterday's video you have to go from v-ray studio and your avatar needs to be in vrm file so if you use a different software to create your um avatar just make sure that it's in vrm file i don't know about any other software all i know is vroy so you're gonna press load file on pc and then you're gonna find wherever you saved it to i have mine on desktop so here it is i'm gonna click on re sleepy because i i don't know i like re sleepy this is gonna pop up but it's really gonna pop up this so basically this is gonna pop up and it's going to ask do you do you want to load the character so you press ok and then this happens so what you're gonna do is go over to streaming right here and this probably won't automatically be uh clicked It'll probably look like a green screen like this, how it is on my screen right now. Um, it's gonna look like a green screen. So what you're gonna have to do is press transparent window in order to get that transparency. Some people like to have like just the avatars like this, but for me, I like it when my avatar has like a background. So I went into Second Life and I made a little background. You can also use the Sims. I prefer you use the Sims because it, it blends better with your avatar because your avatar is very cartoonized and the sims is very cartoonized as well down here this is the face this is um how it kind of tracks so you see how her mouth is moving it is moving by microphone so you don't necessarily need a camera in order for your character to move around and talk so i'm using my web camera because i kind of like this i like when it kind of like i'm moving my head and she's moving her head too so i just have it connected to my microphone it's gonna face track as well this you do need a webcam for. So if you don't want face tracking, so if you wanna turn face tracking off, I'm moving my face and she's not moving because I turned off face tracking, but her mouth was still moving. So you can do face tracking. You just need a web camera or a phone. I think this might be on the phone. If not, you can connect your phone to your computer and use the camera of your phone. You might need a mount, like a selfie stick or something to hold it down. But yeah, down here is the motion. Hands down motion is just when her hands are down, as you can tell, key and mouse motion. It could be the dot default which is just the keyboard and the mouse. So I'm moving my mouse around and she's also moving her mouse around or she's moving her hand around like it's a mouse. And also when you type, she types. It's really cute, really 
cool, right? Then there's presentation mode right here. Oh, I was in presentation mode. That's why I went away. But there's presentation mode where you can kind of point at everything. So I'm going to point at this application right here. The magic mirror, magic mirror, the magic mirror. Very good. I really like this software. So you can kind of like point around at things that you might want to point to on your screen. They also have a pen and tablet mode. So if you are kind of drawing like on paint, let's open up paint really quick. Um, You want to click on this enable pen and enable gamepad. Well, turn off gamepad right now and turn off keyboard and pad. So boom. Let's say you are painting or you're drawing or you're using something to draw. All you have to do is this. This is all you have to do. You see how it looks like she's like doing it as well? It's so freaking cute. So let's say if I ever decided I wanna do a, like a drawing game, all I have to do is change it over into pen and pad mode and it looks like she's drawing as well. Just make sure that you enable the pen right here. That is how you figure out the different motions. Oh, and gamepad motion. I didn't even show you guys that. So gamepad motion is the default or you can use the arcade stick. So let me show y'all kind of how that goes. This is kind of what arcade stick looks like. So if you have a controller and you connect it to your computer, um, it's automatically going to look like, like this, like a controller stick, or you can change it to default, which is this. So let me plug in my, um, controller so I can show you guys. All right. So I just plugged in my controller and this is kind of what it looks like. So as I move my joystick around or everything around, it kind of, if I press the buttons, it presses the exact same buttons that I am pressing. So let me just kind of do this so y'all could kind of see. So y'all might not see in the bottom corner, but y'all see right here. So as I move this around, she kind of moves around like she's playing the game. She presses the buttons like she's pressing the game buttons and everything. And it's just so freaking adorable. This is really, really good. All right, so that is that. You can also play around with the view. So my avatar has a shadow behind her. You can turn it off if you don't want a shadow. Free camera mode, if you don't have this check, you will not be able to turn your camera, your avatar around. So watch when I press it, you can turn her around using your right mouse and you can like do all kinds of things. You can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So if you are playing like just dance or something and you want a full body, then zoom all the way out and your viewers can see you all the way. And I think that is just so freaking cool. So that's that. But I do know that you can connect your phone to this so that you can use your phone. So this is how you use the phone. I don't know how to do it because <laughs> I did not test it out. And I don't want to test it out because I have a freaking web camera. So yeah, you can use your phone if you wanted to. And then hand, this is hand tracking. This is what I was talking about. You have to get the full edition, but it's gonna put on a filter. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is how they're gonna track my hand. So you see how my hand is here and I'm like using it to move my fingers. Y'all see my fingers moving? Yeah, it costs a little bit extra or it's a, it's $20 and, and able to use it without the filter. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool if you're interested and you want like a realistic effect with the magic mirror. So just make sure that y'all check out everything if you want to. Um, and yeah, now I know a lot of y'all want to know how I do my like animation. So you're going to have to press open settings window on the home screen here, which I already have it open. So I don't know why I clicked it. And this is going to pop up and you can make it bigger if you just can't see or whatever. But this is basically where I do my emotions or whatever. So it's going to be on window, but go down to this one, the ABC to motion, which is word to motion. And you can make more, but I don't really know how to. So I'm not even going to move around with it. I just kind of play around with the ones that are already here. So there's the reset option. So if you do any of these, it just resets joy option. So she's smiling the angry option because somebody made her mad on stream. <laughs> The sorrow option because she's sad she didn't get Chipotle today. The fun option because she's having fun playing Fortnite. The waving option because, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> the good option because she's doing great in school. Um, The shaking option because no girl. And then the naughty option because yes. But yeah, that is basically how you use the magic mirror. That's how you connect it or on here. Y'all are probably wondering how do you connect it to your Streamlabs or your OBS? That's the main part that I need to get to. So I'm gonna open up my Streamlabs so y'all can see. Hey me, hey me again. Okay, so this is how you're gonna do it. Right here on the live tab, wherever you go live, you're gonna have to connect it through the game. Um, what is it called? Game capture. I just renamed mine to avatar. So let's say you have game capture. This is game capture y'all okay, don't know you're gonna right click and you're gonna go to properties and then right here it's gonna say choose a specific window and choose the v magic mirror window that is how you connect it and i just have mine like 
I cropped mine into a small box so that it looks like, you know how like streamers do when they have like their face cam in the corner. So that is why mine is like that. And I just renamed it Avatar so that it doesn't get confused with the actual game capture because this is actually for like my games or like any game that I'm playing or whatever. Or you can use browser source or window capture like I mentioned, but it's just that easy. So once again, make sure that this is what you're gonna do. Press this and then you're gonna go to either general or you can find it on here and you're gonna find game capture. So here's game capture. I'm gonna add the source and you're gonna add it as a new source instead. And then what I did was renamed it as avatar. I'm gonna name it avatar test and I'm gonna press add source. Then right here is gonna say mode. It's looking for a game to capture. You're gonna press capture a specific window so that you can choose. And then right here, you choose which, which one you wanna do. Same thing for OBS, cause Streamlabs OBS is literally the same thing as regular OBS. It just looks different and it kind of has a little bit of different similar features, but yeah. That is how you use V Magic Mirror. And now we're gonna move on to V Safe, V C Face. Oh, I cannot talk. So now that it's open, you can make it full screen if you want to, which I'm going to do. You're gonna kinda, gonna have to come here where it says local avatars or your Vroid HUD. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just gonna use this one. You can add an avatar. Same thing, you're gonna go to wherever you saved your avatars. I'm gonna use, hmm, I'm gonna use, hmm, V2. I already have V2 up there, okay. I'm gonna use Ariel's practice. This is the one that I used yesterday. You're gonna click on that one and then you're gonna press start. And this is what she's gonna look like. So she's talking, la 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 la. I have other, I have, I have V Magic Mirror using it. So let me turn off V Magic Mirror in order for this to work, you guys. So there we go. Now it's loading my camera settings. I can't use this and V Magic Mirror at the same time. That's fine. Clicking on REL practice, and here we are. Now it can track your eye blinking motion. It can, this one is a little bit better when it comes to moving around your entire avatar how you wish. Um, but like I said, I just, I'm really not the biggest fan. Like why is she leaning to the side like this when I'm not even leaning to the side like that? Like I'm not even doing all of that girl. You see how it's blinking? It's capturing my blink. So this is pretty cool. You can go over to the select or the settings, not the selection, the settings. And you can play around with these settings. You can go to general settings to redo your entire settings if you messed up. So like, this is my camera. This is my microphone. So she kind of speaks when I speak into the microphone and she is capturing every blink that I have. I don't know why she is leaning to the side like this, y'all. Let me reset position. There we go. These are just different little settings that you can go around and play with. I didn't really, I don't know much about this, y'all. Okay, I didn't know much about it on purpose because I was not a fan of it. I really wanted full body tracking which you can do with treat track leap motion now this is gonna require that you buy a leap motion tracker or whatever which does cost unfortunately so it costs a lot of money actually so well maybe not a lot but quite a bit so you can get it here on Amazon anywhere that you can find a leap motion controller and you're gonna be able to connect it to your VC face and then you can be able to move your whole entire body around and your camera will pick it up and the, the motion detector will pick it all up and it'll be all good. This is another option to use if you don't want to use V Magic Mirror. Down here in this corner is how you make it look transparent. So you can automatically connect this to your OBS or Streamlabs. So let me show you how to do that. It's the same thing right here where it says avatar. You're going to right click and go to properties. And then you're going to choose specific window. And this one, I need to choose, what is this? VC face, it's supposed to pop up, child. I don't know. Sometimes my OBS be doing this, y'all, and I don't like it. I hate when it does this, but sometimes it does it. There it is. So it's going to caption, capture VC face and close. And boom, it should pop up any moment. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. She was just way down there. But there you go. Now your character has popped up on your Streamlabs or your OBS and you can put her in the corner and it's just all cute. I really like this one though because you are able to blink and your character, <laughs> you can blink and your character like blinks with you. And I think that is so freaking adorable. And then you can move around, your hair moves and everything is just like, ooh, isn't that just so freaking cute y'all? You see how her facial expressions are doing that? It's because I'm making that facial expression. I think that is just so cool. So you guys, that is basically how you make your avatar move around on your screen or do whatever you want her to do. Um, There are more options to where you can 
make her dance and walk and do all those good things but like i said some things are not free and i will leave a link in the description box to the video that i watched in order to do those things because i told y'all i just wanted something simple something easy and this is pretty easy for you guys so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that it was helpful let me know in the comments below if there was anything that i needed to mention that i did not mention all right love you guys see y'all in the next video bye